T Green Man Vlog. Check out my vlog. Check out my vlog. Please, check out my vlog. Check out my vlog. Check, 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 check out my vlog. Check out my vlog. Check, check, check out my vlog. Check out my vlog. Check, check, check out my vlog. Check out my vlog. Yo, check out my vlog. Check out my vlog. Check, check, check out my vlog. Check out my vlog. Check, check, check out my vlog. Check out my vlog. Check, check, check out my vlog. What is going on? Welcome to the vlog. Yo, uh, yeah, I threw this up real quick. This is not gonna be probably as long, maybe around the same time as normal, but, uh, you know, I'm really gonna kind of focus on one subject, and you can kind of tell by the the name on the, the thumbnail. Move this a little more. But, uh, basically, uh, yeah, this is my, uh, thing about the YouTube rap community, what I've seen. I'm gonna say, uh, first off, uh, some of you guys are really good. You know, most of the guys on the lower level seem to be the best of all of them. But I'm going to talk more about these high dogs. Because for some reason, there's been this really weird uh, beef going on. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to talk about it. And I want to talk about some of the people who talked about it. And just in general. And also, I want to talk a little bit about Pop and Challenge. So pretty much, uh, yeah, man, there was this beef with, like, Screw. And uh, I like Screw a lot. He's a, he's a good dude. Uh I've seen him on uh, Instagram. I've sent him some stuff. I've seen he looks at it. He's one of the few people that I send stuff to who actually looks at what I put, what I sent to the guy. So shout out to Screw for that. Not a lot of people do that, which is uh, means a lot. You know, I, I talk to some people in the community, but not very many. Some, but most people don't even look at your your DMs. They're just kind of right past it. Now, uh, really, and then you know he's been beefing with with Gone. You know, what I mean. Let them do their thing, you know, I, I hope it doesn't get crazy, but where I was kind of going with that was, there's this commentator, you know, No Life Shaq, you know, I, I really respect him as well, and uh, he had an opinion today, which, you know, was very important, he, one thing I got that he, he, he mentioned was keeping his name, keeping his name out of their mouth in people's songs, I feel him on that, I mean, I don't understand why people would even put his, his name in their mouth to begin with, first off, none of these YouTube rappers are anyone to be bowing down to if i make it in this industry don't bow to me don't bow to any rapper never bow to anyone you know what i mean don't look up to anyone like there's something so beyond you because that's not that's not the that's not the truth every person on this planet is is powerful we are all kings first off that's the number one thing i want i want to make clear that's my what my movement's all about my movement's about growth and helping those around me grow I'm not trying to hold hold the whole picture. I see a lot of celebrities, even these YouTube rappers, they hold this huge picture around themselves and they have a great, they talk a good game, man. But when it comes down to it, really, they're all as bad as each other, man. Like, you know, No Life Shack kind of goes into like, talking about Crip and the Poppin' Challenge. You know, you guys saw my earlier video about the Poppin' Challenge and you, you see why people like Crip shouldn't be in the Poppin' Challenge to begin with. First off, Crip has, has done a song with Deji. That's number one. So he's done a song, and KSI just watched that song. So he obviously watches Crip. He's also put Crip in a song where he went at Crip before Crip went back at him. So he know they know about each other. The reason what the problem what I would see would be, and what I was talking about in my video, is that he, he, he put out other chances for other artists to get a shot at, at KSI. He could have gotten a shot at KSI. Really, he and and he and it's like he really did it just really to get that fifteen hundred bucks would be what it is about, and he has plenty of monetization to get that fifteen hundred dollars. He charges people to watch their videos. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he's not making money, I don't know who's paying out all the money because I know what he. I, I watch what he does. You know what I mean? He has separate channels with, you know, where he does thing and he talks about it on his thing about how he charges to do that. So. He's making money, and then he's going and, and taking competitions where he's doing it. Like, he's a seasoned rapper. This was supposed to be a competition for people who don't really have an opportunity. You know, people with under, like, 5,000 subscribers, I would say, would be the main. Because they're the ones who are going to take a while. Anyone over 10,000, 20,000 subscribers and up to a million, you know, and Crip has in the million, probably over a million within two channels. 
but uh you know these guys are sitting here talking like they love everybody and want to help everybody you know like no life shack no life shack is good don't get me wrong i have respect for all these guys but the second they start taking a high horse like they're trying to help somebody none of them are trying to help nobody man they're just trying to give views they're just trying to make a living they're just trying to do something they don't really have a message i never heard any of these rappers on here talk about anything they're doing for anybody else other than rapping and trying to go with, get big and, and live they they spread a lot of positivity when they talk and they're a great talker but what are they going to give back once they really get somewhere you know I've, I've yet to really see i mean mr beast was smart i don't know what his whole his whole behind thing was but he's the smartest youtuber i've seen yet really because he's figured a way to help a lot of people but also get his views which isn't necessarily a bad thing i just really think you got to look at ways to really help others in general like first off you shouldn't charge people to uh review their videos you know what i mean if their your, your video will pop off it or something if their video pops or something off of you then maybe <clears throat> ask that but you know like to really like oh char i charge you this much to watch your video whether it's 20 30 40 50 60 70 you gotta stop doing that stuff man if you're charging for beats, that's one thing, but to watch your rap video and put it on there, just put them through it and you should do it if you really like them and then throw them out there. You know, we gotta stop putting these negative, dumb videos online. Who cares if someone pays you? If it sucks, they don't even listen to it. Put it on there and give them a shot. We need to start putting stuff on here with talent. I'm tired of these like rappers who can't rap. We gotta stop moving from that. People like Tupac didn't die for this music to, to turn into some charade of funny business. Hip hop is is a real music. It's it, it's a message. It's a movement for people that are that are held back in society to push forward without means of of negative act. They use their voice and they use who they are. They stand and say they're not going to take it anymore and they push forward. That's what hip hop is about. That's why I love and lived through hip hop for a long time. You know, it was one of the few musics that really touched my soul when I heard the right artist. And I want that to start coming back around again. I'm tired of these artists talking about these beefs and what they got or what they do and all this. I need messages. We need we need to start moving. We need to start growing. You know what I mean? That's what this time is about. It's to learn how to become better. So let's become better. That's what we need to focus on. No more of this drama. No more of this, you know, BS. This is a time to grow. You know what I mean? Let's take YouTube and, and make it better and not have this same garbage platform of drama of all these people talking how they're trying to do all this great for everybody when all they do is do something that's trying to get themselves a lot more money and not really help a lot of people you know what i mean let's change the movement and help masses of people you know what i mean if I, if i had like millions of subscribers i would try to get other people millions of subscribers as quick as i could you know what i mean build as many quick platforms so we can spread as many different messages across as many places as possible that's how you give small people a big voice quick that's how you help a big thing. And if you did that, more people could get the messages of what we need to actually do to help society through their central, you know, understandings. You know, that's what music and things are about. These these people have turned this into everyday jobs where they clock in, they do the same thing, and they clock out. They don't really care about the people who watch them. And it's sad for the people that watch them because they don't get anything back, really, except for these little competitions and contests and things like that instead of actually... You know what I mean? Like, if I had a million dollars and a million subscribers, give everybody a dollar or ten dollars or whatever. You know what I mean? Depending how many millions you got, dude. Like, like I always say, if I had ten million, I'd give away nine. If I had a hundred million, I'd give away ninety. You no, know, I, I give away ninety of it back to the people who gave it to me. That's what you do. Not, not hold on to it and and show all off all what you got to everybody else. And yeah, they keep giving it to you, but it's you, you, you pay to that, and you wonder why these people are the way they are. You made them that way because you didn't think about that in your design so hopefully we get that changed and have a good day and i'll see you guys soon you know i love you no life shack i love you crib i love all you guys you know screw it all you guys you know, like i said i got respect for you guys but you guys got to get off this drama shit man grow up we need we need real rap man real music not this bs bro the only one i the ones that's funny the ones who make it are the ones who actually go like tom mcdonald you guys used to laugh at him, man. Look at him now, man. He's got his own thing, making millions and millions of, of subscribers, and he's not kicking it with you YouTube guys. He's doing it on his own, and he started at YouTube. He, I'm sure he would have loved to work with you people, but because a lot of you, you know, guys do what you do, that's why there's so much it takes time to get built up in this community. So hopefully, you know, we'll build a little bit stronger. Hopefully we'll get other people who see this, and 
Hopefully we can make some changes. Honimyo means from this moment. So whatever you did past this moment means nothing. It's about what you do now. So if you, whatever I say now about you guys, if you watch this video, if you, this thing's like this is thing to you, think about what you can do from this moment. Because you could change what I say by just changing your next action. Have a good night. Ring man. Yo, all y'all YouTube rappers, you better hit the flow. Cause T Green Man is coming back even more. What's your past? What's your pain? What's your game? Everything I hear you talk, all your drama, all your fame, all the things that you got, all the things you never thought. But for some reason, on songs, you talk about guns that you have shot. Never heard about a case that none of y'all done. Never heard about y'all behind bars, spitting bars. All I hear is about these game when you driving cars. Think about you celebrities and real stars. Got this game like no life shack. Trying to tell everybody to quit saying his name, but not MGK. Hey, I'm on my stuff, spitting stuff, let it say. I'm just hitting on that game, cook it up, salmon souffle. Anybody wanna touch, I'ma make a crutch. You can see me dance on YouTube, rapping double dutch. KSI had to pop and challenge and went for someone his brother rapped with and hold it on the talent. All crypt wanted was 1500. He could've got Deji to give a call to KSI and get him on. I'm just here on dawn, going till I'm gone. I'm the straw man, trying to make it from the strong. You can see me hitting off like you know I'm on. I'ma show the freestyle, let me rip it on. You can see all I did was hit the play button, sit down, spit a verse, leave everybody in a hearse. Lift the curse, I'm a terse, and I ain't perverse. Got the game going for the bus, never worse. And if y'all want rappers to talk and have collab, honing me up from this moment, throw it at a stab. You can see I came from the game and the fab. Hit the game from the heaven, yo, cut the slab.